The total darkness that will surround the entire earth will generate a tremendous deal of bewilderment, and many people will perish in terror and hopelessness. Those who stand up for my cause will be blessed by the tears of my divine heart, but many will burn like withered grass in open meadows. The ungodly will be destroyed, allowing the just to begin over afterward. On that day, no one is permitted to leave the house or open a window once total darkness has descended. Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. A new day will dawn on us from above because our God is loving and merciful. Today, let us share with you some words from the prophecy that was given to Padre Pio, which releases the warning about the three days of darkness that is going to take place as a result of God's punishment. Before we proceed to the core of the statement, may you not forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel so as to be able to access the latest messages from above. Stay with us and listen to this video until the very end. God has a blessing with your name on it. Type Amen if you believe so and praise be to God. Here comes the words from Padre Pio. My people, my love for man is very great, especially for those who give themselves to me. When the sun, the moon, and the stars appear overly troubled and restless, keep an eye on them to see when the days of darkness come. As soon as the angel of devastation passes by your doors, continue to be united in prayer and watchfulness. Please ask God to shorten these days. From the sun's rising to its setting, my reign will be exalted and blessings will be on my name. There will be no end to my world and the people living in my kingdom. Pray, for there is much joy and safety as men race toward the pit of damnation as if to a masquerade party or the devil's personal wedding feast. The measure of sin is filled. Help me in saving souls. The dreadful events of the day of retribution are drawing night. The world is sleeping and closer than you might believe, but you have an illusion of security. They will experience divine judgment as a thunderbolt. These evil and godless people will be wiped off mercilessly. The level of wickedness was not as high as it is in the modern human race. I won't abandon those who share my message or those who place their faith in me, so those who follow me have nothing to worry about. You must be ready for the visits from my mother, who will give you the following indications and instructions, or no harm will come to those who are in a state of grace and who seek her protection. The wind will howl, and it will be an extremely cold night. Thunderbolts will appear thereafter. Lock all and every window and door. Avoid communicating with anyone outside the house. Kneel before the crucifix. Admit your sins and ask my mother for protection. Keep your eyes closed during the earthquake because God's wrath is sacred. Jesus forbids us from seeing God's wrath because it requires trembling and terror to even consider it. Those who disobey this instruction will die right away. Toxic gases will be carried by the wind and spread throughout the entire earth. Those who suffer and perish unjustly will be called martyrs, and the Lord will exalt them in his kingdom. Do not peek out of your windows. Keep them completely covered. A blessed candle that will last for several days should be lit. Rosary prayer, spiritual reading, and kind acts are all things that we find quite satisfying. To help save countless souls, do not extend your arms in prayer or kneel on the ground. Avoid leaving the house. Make sure you're feeding yourself enough. The forces of nature will be stirred and there will be a terrifying firestorm. 
During these times, take good care of the animals. I am the creator and protector of both man and all other animals. You should put extra food in front of them when I give you a few warning signs. I'll also forbid anyone from crossing the yard, not even to feed the animals. Whoever goes outside will die. Protect your windows by doing so. If you put your trust in me, I'll look out for you. The day of my return is drawing near, but I'll be merciful. A most horrific punishment will serve as a reminder of the times. My angels, who will carry out this mission, are waiting with their swords drawn. The clouds will release hurricanes of fire that will cover the entire planet. Stormy conditions earth will be covered in lightning and earthquakes for two days. There will be a constant downpour of fire. It will start out on a bitterly cold night. All of this is evidence that God is the architect of the universe. The earthquake and flames will stop in three nights. The sun will shine once more the next day. Angels who will bring peace over the planet as they descend from heaven. Those who make it through this most horrible suffering will be overcome by an overwhelming sense of pleasure. The coming punishment that God will bring to earth once it was created. If you want your prayers to get to heaven, pray the rosary properly. Someday, the entire planet will face a more catastrophic catastrophe, a horrible chastisement, unlike anything that has ever been seen or felt. This disaster will strike the planet suddenly, like a bolt of lightning. Nobody is allowed to leave the house or gaze out a window after that point, when the morning sun is replaced by black darkness. I will manifest as thunder and lightning. The total darkness that will surround the entire earth will generate a tremendous deal of bewilderment, and many people will perish in terror and hopelessness. Those who stand up for my cause will be blessed by the tears of my divine heart, but many will burn like withered grass in the open meadows. The ungodly will be destroyed, allowing the just to begin over afterward. On that day, no one is permitted to leave the house or open a window once total darkness has descended." Pray, pray to my dear mother Mary and the saints and the holy angels shall be your intercessors. Be courageous soldiers of Christ. Let everyone praise the Holy Trinity for their protection at the reemergence of light. The devastation will be tremendous, but I will have purified the world. I have warned men countless times, and many times I have offered them exceptional chances to revert to the right road. The punishment can no longer be postponed because evil has reached its peak. Despite the pain and bleeding in my heart, I must deal this blow for the sake of my people. Tell everyone that now is the moment when these sayings will come true. This is the end of today's video. God has a blessing with your name on it. Type Amen if you believe so. Stay blessed, keep praying, and spread the word about this video till we see each other again.